morning everybody. Cody here with Oregon Coast Adventures. It is November 16th, 2023. The year is almost over, getting closer. Um, took the day off from work and there's no rain forecasted for the day. I have decided to do a little metal detecting today. Let's see if I can't find anything neat and cool before the end of the year. And uh, hopefully get some footage recorded for a video for you guys. We'll see. I am heading to a location uh, that was a logging camp in a mill uh, back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Uh, a place I have been before, have hit a few times before. Uh, you guys actually saw a couple of those finds recently. Uh, the lead Indian toy and the chauffeur's license tag from 1944. Those were a couple things I found there. And I uh, also pulled a suspender clip from there as well. So I'm going back to that location to see if there's anything left over that uh, somebody might have missed. Uh, I got friends that have hit that place for years. They still seem to find stuff there that's uh, been left over. So you never know. There might be something neat still left in the ground there. We'll check it out. If uh, that place doesn't pan out very well, maybe I'll uh, switch locations, maybe hit some, uh, some curb strips, maybe hit some city parts or something like that, try to uh, stiff out some silver coins or something like that. But I'm going to head over there and uh, we'll check it out and see if we can't find anything cool. We'll see you at the first hole. Hey, it's Cody here. I'm at the location that I'm starting my day out on. Um, so far, I found a beer can and a couple of small pieces of um, iron. That sounded pretty decent. Um, I had to go back to the truck and get a bottle of water um, because I actually found my first good target out of the ground. Um, pretty excited about this. It's pretty cool. Uh, first off, I had a, uh, a signal where that plug is. It was um, reading between 46 and 65 uh, pull tab area, nickel area uh, tone. Um, pulled a plug um, about four inches deep. Uh, first thing I found was this old bottle, about uh, two inches below the surface. Looks like an old beer bottle. Um, I did find an old bottle here before. In fact, it was. Uh, you see that kind of divot right there. It's just on the other side of it right there. I pulled a the bottle out. So there's a lot of trash in here. But I knew that wasn't my signal. Super cool though. It says uh, not refundable on it. Old beer bottle of some kind. Um, put my pin pointer down in and popped that out. Uh, that is an old toy. It's part of an old train toy. It's a train car. Which is really cool. I never found anything like this before. It's really, really heavy. But um, I wanted to get a bottle of water and um, kind of rinse this off a little bit. So, kind of get it down here and rinse it off a little bit. Get a good look at it. Um, really cool. Uh, it's a red color train car. Toy of some kind. Super happy with that being my first um, first signal. So that means there's definitely more stuff here that's hidden um, within all this trash. There's a lot of iron sounds, a lot of trash signals. So I just got to pick through all that trash. I'm going to keep on going, see if I can't find anything else. Hey, everybody, I'm back. Um, it's been a while since I found that, uh, that bottle in that uh, toy train car. Um, you know, all the things I have found have been concentrated in a small, pretty small area. Um, there's so much stuff in here, a lot of glass. I've been pulling a lot of, um, a lot of iron piece. I pulled out this, uh, clamp, little clamp, uh, nails, old pieces of glass, uh, stuff like that. Excuse the, uh, traffic noise, I'm next to a highway. But uh, I had to come back over and grab my water. I have something in the hole over here. I was not expecting. It was a nice tone, 83, 84. Um, 
pull the plug and um, I don't know if you can see that I can't zoom in on it um, I do believe this is a silver quarter it's mangled all to hell but I do believe that's a uh, a silver Washington I might get some water on it here I don't have my um, spray bottle with me but um, oh yeah that's no doubt silver looks like uh, 1940 something but it's been mangled cut up bent up wow my first silver quarter of the year my second silver coin of the year I get that cleaned up a little bit more I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this a little cleaned up a little bit, and then I'll come back and show you it when it's cleaned up. Okay, guys, I'm back. I got that uh, silver quarter cleaned up. It is a uh, 1942 silver Washington quarter. Really, really mangled, but I'm really happy to have that. It's been cut, cut uh, chunks cut off of it. Must have been hit by a mower at several times, but super happy with that. Was not expecting to find that here. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep on going, see if I can't pull anything else out. Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, been a few minutes since I pulled that, uh, silver quarter. I guess that was the last signal I found. Um, I've been pulling a lot of, uh, pieces of iron, a lot of glass and holes with the, the iron pieces, nails, stuff like that. Um, came over here by this small bush and tree. Uh, in the middle of the section I'm doing and I got a uh, 84, 83, 85 signal uh, about four inches deep is what it was showing but I got me a nice uh, wheat penny uh, it's a 1940 something I, hard to tell what the last number is but that is a uh, nice little weenie I love finding wheat pennies especially older ones like this um, I believe that's my fifth wheat penny for the year. Super happy with that. I'm gonna keep on going. Hopefully we can pull something else to show. Hey everybody, I'm back. Uh, I literally just pulled that uh, wheat penny underneath this plug I got right here, down right there. And uh, I had a signal here. Just pulled out the uh, old iron buckle of some kind. Believe it or not, that's actually a first for me. Uh, never found an iron buckle before, but super cool. We can keep on going. Hey everybody, I'm back. I am done digging for the day. About four, four and a half hours of swinging the metal detector has completely worn me out. I pulled a ton of trash out. Lots of broken glass. Lots of uh, iron pieces, especially big iron pieces. Um, it was a uh, full day of swinging, but I did find a few things I'm super happy about. Um, first thing I found was uh, that old bottle. I don't think I have on me right now. But I also found this awesome lead, I think it's lead, uh, toy train car. Wheels are uh, rusted off, but super, super cool. Never found anything like that before. Awesome find. Um, I pulled this out of the hole. I didn't think anything of it at first, but I think this is a, another one of those lead toy Indians, except this time it's been completely mangled. He lost the battle for sure, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's another one of those lead toy Indians, like I had found there before. Super cool to find that. Um... I did find a little marble that came out of that same hole as that lead toy. I think that's where it is, a little tiny, little tiny marble. I did produce uh, one wheat penny today. Super happy to have that. One wheat, I love finding wheat pennies. Uh, 1940 something, I still can't read the date on it. And then the big silver find for the day, that silver quarter, a silver Washington, 1942. That has been absolutely mangled to death. Chunks taken out of it, bent up, 
chewed on. Um, definitely pretty sure it got whacked by a more blade at some point over the years. But super, super cool find. I'm uh, really happy with all of those finds. Um, it was a good day of digging. Some good stuff came out of the ground. Really, really happy. We'll see if I can uh, get back out again before the end of 2023. We'll see. Until next time, keep on digging.